I know you don't think I'm programmed to be a hero, but work with me, will you? Greetings, YouTube. Greetings. It is me, your system lord, Soundwave SG1, back for a Transformers review. And as per the title page, I'm going to be doing a figure from probably my... Apart from Beast Wars, apart from uh, G1, because G1's G1, animated. I miss animated. Animated was perfect. It had everything. 39 episodes of awesome. Criminally axed after three years. I was never going to see it on DVD. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, I'm going to be doing a um, this fella. Wingblade Optimus Prime. Now you'll notice the this section here. Get onto that in a moment. Uh, uh, his function is Autobot, obviously. His function is in, is leader, but not leader of the entire Autobot army. That's Ultra Magnus Prime. It seems in animated is a military rank, um, and he's in charge of. Uh, a space bridge repair team, really, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, why did I say that, fuck's sake? Um, anyways, tech specs are... While I function, Earth is under my protection. When Optimus Prime crashes to Earth with the rest of the Autobots, he didn't really know what it meant to be a hero. He spent most of his time in space dreaming of glory, but it wasn't until he first faced the terrible decision that event inevitably came with leadership that he finally understood he became a true hero a being who does not want to what? a being who does what he does for glory and fame but because no one else can do it oh well there you go um, he has supplemental battle armor supplementally sup blah, blah, blah. talk let's talk Supplementary battle armor, rocket assisted axe, grapple launcher, and arm. But this toy doesn't have it, but anyway. Now, this is the Japanese version of the Voyager mold, the Wingblade Prime. You can tell because it's got clear plastic. Right? This this is what you get in the, um, the US release. However, it's nice. I like the fact that they incorporate. This is the thing with animated. They incorporate a lot of the weapons into the vehicle modes, and this is a prime example of that. <laughs> See what I did that? Prime example. Prime. Optimus Prime. Okay. Um, yeah. So you can see his um, all his weapons are stored lovely in vehicle mode, which is pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to take those off, and there's his sort of naked vehicle mode. Why do I do that? I don't know. But it does come with this set of gubbins uh, which is the um, sort of the power master prime kind of look which is pretty cool um, again you can attach everything all into into one thing and attach it onto his into his vehicle mode in the back there there is a little hole um, it's oh, I'm lost now this black panel here this black post will fit in there quite nicely there we are and there he is and he's kind of like an updated sort of battle mode kind of dealy which is pretty cool actually um, you can sort of but it's a nice way of storing all the gear in the vehicle mode which is really cool um, what I'm going to do is take him to robot mode right firstly we flip the feet up because we can then we extend and we separate the feet and oh, no, wait, wait, wait a minute this section which is his front grille and headlights we separate that and pull that all the way down to there then we separate his legs then we extend them out now here there's a little switch on his just in there now if you press that it kind of emulates his sort of swivel transformation from the cartoon so you press that and yeah, okay, kind of. He's, he's pretty cool. Then we get his wheels and we rotate them in like so. We do the same on this side. Then we take this section, fold it back. Then we take this whole section, pull it down until it clicks. There we go. 
So for this section, pull that back, pull that back, rotate that in, and there we go. Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Then we we flip this section up, and then we then we sort of G1 E style, pull his arms out like so. Then we flip that back a bit. Then we reach in there, pull out his fists. Same for this side. Then we get this section, pull it back, like so. Pull his head out. Then this section has got two posts there, two and two parts there. Then we fold that in like that. Then we kind of position the arms how we want them. And there he is, in robot mode. He's pretty cool. I like him. He's got the, 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 the Bruce Tim style, which is pretty fucking cool. And he looks like his animation model. Now, in terms of weapons in this sort of mode, get this section. We take this gun off, which is actually a water gun. You can fill it full of water and push it in, like so. And it squares jets of water. I've not done it yet, but... Yeah. What can you do? Because it's supposed to be a fire truck. Then we take this section here. Then we um, we rotate these sections out. We flip this section down, and we flip that section down. That becomes his axe, and he will. Can all that fucking our front door's fucking loud. Letterbox even. There we are. Um, you can tell I've not had a boost today, can't you? Yes. But I shall rectify that in approximately three hours. Uh, sorry, four hours. And there he is. Um, he holds that quite nicely, and you can put him in. Oh, and he's gone. He's got a little post, and he puts that in his hand. Thusly. There he is. He is pretty fucking cool. I like him. Now, in terms of articulation, he has fucking loads, to be honest. Um, his arms are on a kind of weird shoulder joint, which you can put any kind of position you want, which is pretty sweet, it's like a folding joint, then we'll rotate at the shoulder, he will rotate at the bicep, he will bend at the elbow, um, that's it in his arms, he will rotate at the waist, his head will do a full 360, his legs will go up at the thigh, up at the hip rather, up, down, bend at the knee, bend at the knee, and he's pretty cool. And he does emulate his battle mask. There's a little switch on the back of his head, and you pull that down, and boom! There he is. He's pretty fucking cool, if you ask me. Um, this version of Prime is the right scale for the normal deluxe class. Um, so yeah, there he is. Um, now to change him into um, into Wingblade Prime. Like I say, because animated the way the show is, um, it it takes elements from every other Transformers show before it. So there's definitely G1 in there. There's Beast Wars in there. There's Armada in there. There's you know, uh, you know. First time I said it in this video, so that's cool. Um, it, yeah, it really does take a lot from every other form of Transformers up until up until that point. I think even the movies are um, referenced in there as well. Now, to uh, attach this to, to, to Prime then, firstly we disconnect these guns. It's all about taking things apart. So Then we disconnect these things, which will become his hands. Then we disconnect the Magnus Hammer. Then we rotate these up. Now in there, there is a series of uh, ports. And on the back here, on the, the, the light bar, as it's folded out, there's a, the there's a same series of posts. So what you do is you take those, those ports there, those posts there, then we just simply connect it and just finagle it in. And there it is. As you can see in there, the light bar also acts as another kind of post to secure it in. And then we just fix that down, and then that's the wings on. Um, then we, what are we doing next? 
We take his guns, which they do fire missiles, but I'm not going to do that because we all know what firing missiles fucking look like. We take these flat sort of posts there and these kind of sort of grooves in the back there and they just simply slide in there and they will hold really tightly. See? And we do the same for this side. Like that. There he is. Then we take these sections. I've just done it. Oh, fucking hell. Right, it starts off with this configuration. Basically, we just fold that up. Then we can fold this out. Like so. Now, you'll notice a huge post there. That fits on his hand you will actually hold it what you do is you slightly separate this section here and then you get this section and then he will hold it and he will hold it very snugly like so then we do the same for this side and there we go then we take the Magnus hammer and we just extend that out now it's got a little groove, a little post there, and his hands, if you can see it, I've got a fucking hell, let's put a spare. I've got a little groove in there. So basically you just fit it in and he will hold that very nicely. Now, you can also twist this section at the top so you can have it hold it in any pretty much in any pretty much any um pose you'd like to put him in and he is fucking badass I think you'll agree now the only problem is this section it just doesn't do anything in in uh, wing blade mode uh, you can sort of give him it to hold but he doesn't really hold it that well because of the fact that his fingers are on a kind of spring so he doesn't really hold it that well which is a bit of a shame and there's nowhere to store it in this mode I mean you could sort of get this section here and then just hold that sort of over you could do that actually it's not too bad really yeah why not actually if you put, put fold them shut kind of holds it didn't realize that that's pretty cool actually Yes, so he just fucking dropped the hammer. And there we go, and that's him in, uh, I'll take that off for now, in uh, Wingblade Prime mode. Uh, as you can see, a very nice homage to Power Master Prime. Now, like I said, this is the Japanese version. Uh, the normal American version does accommodate the wing blade the wing blade prime add-on set but unfortunately they've never released it in the us and the europe which is a bit of a shame because he's fucking cool i really do like him now get him if you love animated get him if you love transformers get him if you love g1 because he's a, despite you looking animated it's got a very g1 look to it as well like i say he um with all this extra um i mean he can rotate these rounds as well which is pretty cool but i prefer them up because you know, there's no cavities in there, so and you can rotate these wings any which way you want, to have any style you want, which is pretty cool actually. Yes. Uh, it's all coming apart, fucking thing. There we are. So he's cool, really. Um, I'm just waxing lyrical really about it. He is 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 like I say, he's the perfect scale to all the um, the deluxe size figures. And with the um, the deluxe size figures and the uh, leader bulkhead, it's a perfect match for those. Like I say, so yeah, he is pretty fucking cool, actually. So a must, really, if you're a Transformers fan, you've got to embrace the animated. You know, I think it's better than Prime, to be honest. Prime's, pr for me, Prime is very, very, very meh, unfortunately. It's the only way I can describe it, meh. Nothing about it grabs me, not like animated did. 
it's just just like I said, it's very, 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 very meh. So that's me. That's Primey. And um I hope you enjoyed this review. Send me some feedback. Subscribe if you like. Uh like me. Um if you don't like me, tell me why. If you want to see me do stuff, just ask. Uh, if you want to re want me to review something in particular, um, send it to me for gratis. As long as I can keep it, I'll review it for you. So, like an iPad. So, like I said, that's me. That's that's this review done. Uh, and thanks for watching. Toodly pips.